Hi, welcome to this final video on creating infographics in Keynote. Hopefully you've found it useful so far. This is the fourth video out of four, and the final step is to export high quality images from Keynote. There's a bit of a trick to this I've found works very well for me. So let me show you. This is the stage we got to last time, where we um, essentially aligned all our objects. We put our information in, we talked about uh, adding the back, uh, drop shadow to the shapes to make them pop a little bit. Uh, there's one more addition I've just stuck in here and that is just to make it look a little bit more fancy by using uh, a, a background shape uh, to um, I guess to add a bit of design to the banner at the top. So I've just copy and pasted this uh, decahedron. Oh, we can take it from shapes as well. Uh, I've removed the background shadow so it's just flat and I've changed the colour to a slightly lighter grey. Uh, you can also reduce the opacity as well because you don't want it to be like this but you want to reduce it to around 30 so it's a bit more see-through uh, make it bigger so it fits nicely over the banner and i just want you to send it to the back and then send the actual object banner to the back as well so then it's just behind the text and it just makes it look a little bit more uh, stylish in terms of the heading because geometric shapes the 3d shapes is illustrated in the background of the banner uh, so if i play it on full screen you can see what i mean all right now you can play around with where that's positioned because obviously it's not in the perfect place there but this first example i showed you with a lighter color banner you can see i've got one here and got one here um, so it's just up to you how you position that so i'm going to stick it around here so this video is about how to export to a high quality image so i'm going to show you how to do that now now you can the traditional way is to export to uh, images i do find that lowers the resolution of the quality of the image when you export it though so here's my trick firstly i export it as a pdf all right and i save generally save it on the desktop let's put pdf so we know And here it is, there's a PDF. It's a nice high quality PDF as well. The, the quality of the graphic is really top notch. So I wanna replicate that and what I wanna do is I'm gonna export this and go to uh, right click on the thumbnail at the side and export this one, not all of them, as a format PNG, all right, PNG. And we're gonna change the name to PNG too. And I want resolution to be 300 pixels. Um, and I want you to save that on your desktop or somewhere. Um, and then you can find it. Here's the PNG we just saved. You'll notice all of them are there that were saved. So I'm just gonna delete the ones I don't want. In this case, the half finished one. And then what you've got here is the finished PNG um, infographic we designed you can see how high quality it is as well compared to if you export it as a jpeg which the resolution will be a lot lower um, so you want to do that it looks nice and sharp and i would definitely recommend to export it in that way and you can use that for now for social media or to print out or to send around uh, to your colleagues so hopefully you found these four videos really useful uh, just to summarize we've talked about choosing slide sizes uh, picking colors and creating contrast We've talked about adding icons and aligning objects. And finally, we've talked about exporting high quality images. So I hope you found these videos useful. See you again.